Hello, I'm going to show you how to do a name chain. This is going to be a little bit different one. There are so many different ways you can make name chains, so this is just one of many. It's a newer one. Um, you may have seen a few variations of it, um, but there's not that many out there that have done it. So I want to show you guys how to do it. So I've got all these uh, acetate ribbons that are cut at six inches long, and they are the one and a quarter inch width ribbon. And this sparkly ribbon is just a... Um, one and a half inch ribbon that I got at during holiday season. I don't even know what kind of ribbon to tell you it is. It's just glitter on one side and then solid on the other. But it's really great for homecoming moms. Okay, so I'm just going to start with one color. I've, I cut six of these of each color. So I'm just going to make a loop with them. Make that even. And then I'm going to take it on one side all the way to the end of that glitter ribbon. And I'm going to leave a little space at the bottom for some sparkle. So I just want those to match up. And then I can take a regular stapler or your homecoming stapler. If I can use a regular stapler, then I will because it saves on those other, the Bostwich staples, which are just harder to find. You just have to order them online or, or sometimes you can get them at Michael's or something during the season, I think. But, um, you know, you can buy standard staples anywhere. So if I can use a regular stapler, I will. So now I'm doing the orange and just again making a loop that and I'm gonna leave a little gap because I want this sparkle to show in between you could put them on top of each other like that but since I'm using this really pretty ribbon I want to leave a little gaps in there so again I just want to make sure that I've got it all the way to the end and I may you want to make sure that they're straight so I may have to trim some of these off because I never cut them very straight so, got it to the end and I'm just putting a staple at the end of it. So it looks like that. So back to the black. And I want to try to make sure I'm doing the same amount between each one. You could do the same colors. You could do more than two colors. I just like the look of this, and then you could do uh, one person's name down one side and the other person's name down the other side, or you could do homecoming on one side and the year on the other, or the school name and mascot. So many options. I'm trying to hurry up and do this a little quicker now. So just making loops and going back and forth. It always helps me when I'm doing a pattern like this to keep one color on one side and the other color on the other side so I don't mix them up. I'm not going to be able to make a very long one because I only cut this ribbon about 20 inches, but you could make this as long as you wanted to. You could use a ribbon that's not as wide. You just need to um, consider that how long of a name you're using. So if they have a really long name, you may not be able to make this type of uh, chain for their name. Unless you put, you know, more than one sticker on one, use smaller stickers. I've even done the year just on one in smaller stickers or cheer or something. And if I didn't make this long enough and I need some more to uh, attach to the backer, all I have to do is staple or hot glue a piece of scrap ribbon that's, you know, two to four inches long and then I can make it longer. Or you could even attach another piece, a piece of pretty ribbon to it or some diamond mesh if you needed to make it longer. I've done that before if I've cut them too short. Instead of starting over, just add a smaller piece of ribbon to it and then you could put like an embellishment where they meet and nobody knows the difference. It looks like you did it on purpose. more. I'm not sure if it's going to be long enough. I'm not making this for any particular person. I was just making this for purposes of this video. So, I mean, I will use it, I'm sure. I'll go ahead and make it a little bit longer and then I'll probably add, like I told you to do uh, with the smaller ribbon, I'm sure I'll end up doing that.
comfortable in my thing. Okay. Get out my trusty. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And again, you can put the boy's name on the black. And um, I like to cut my own letters out of vinyl. So what I could do is do orange stickers and then black. Or I could do white. But I do like to, if I'm going to do both their names on there, I like to change them up a little bit so they stand out. And sometimes I will even double up the stickers so I could do um, orange and black stickers. And orange and black stickers, but rotate them where orange is on top on one and black is on top of the other. It just makes them look different. But that's a very cute and it's different. So you would just put the stickers like in this area right here. Or again, if you did, you know, if you have a 2019, you could do here or cheer or something. You could put trinkets on it. You could just use it as uh, something fun. It doesn't have to be a name chain. Okay, guys, if you'll check back, I'll show you how to decorate it and embellish it. Thanks. Bye.